Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another review. With me, Peter the Master of Puppets, today joined by Not a bird in the world, as almost always. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And today we're going to be looking at a Imperial Stout from Terrapin, courtesy of Sam, who's behind us there. Um, this is the Terrapin 2012 rendition of the Wake and Bake, or WNB, Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout. And I guess you'd call it Breakfast Stout. Yeah, or, you know, yeah, I know, I think that's what people call it. Cool. Yeah. It says, uh, Two Athens, Georgia companies, Terrapin and Jittery Joe's, have teamed up to create a unique blend of coffee used to produce this robust and flavorful beer. So when it comes to a morning beverage, why not, why not? beer? <laughs> of course. Um, it is on 8.1% alcohol, <coughs> and we got it poured here. Black, you know, yeah. original, like, imperial. We're sitting in the uh, high sun, and it kind of gets some reddish hues and yeah. to it. But, uh, uh, yeah, looks nice. Do you want to check out the own? Oh, yeah. Oh, even though it's the 2012 vintage, I'm definitely still picking up coffee. Yeah, and the coffee is definitely there. Yeah, today, like sweet chocolate notes and maybe some dark chocolate too. Yeah. Like when you mm -hmm. kind of, in the morning really nice. when you open the, the can of coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed by the amount of coffee still left considering it's, you know, from 2012. Yeah. Really nice. Uh, with the chocolate nose and all as well, some oatmeal type of sweet notes. Smells Cocoa nice. and some caramel, yeah. uh, that dark toffee caramel, I guess. You wanna give it a taste? Yeah. I cheers. so much about that section. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, cheers. Wow, that is pretty damn good. I mean, the coffee is a little more faded on the flavor, but it's still very dominant or prominent for a 2012 vintage, which is pretty crazy. I think. Yeah, and I'm still getting a good kick of coffee. On yeah, it. A good kick of coffee, and then there's this. It, it fades over to a coffee liqueur ish kind of thing, mm -hmm. uh, with like the, the cocoa sweetness and all. And it, it, it really reminds me of something like a Founders Breakfast style. Yeah, a, a, whole a, a little like, more bready, I guess, and not as roasted. Uh, and yeah. I think it's more sweet too. Yeah, and I'm getting you know the sweet cocoa flavors, a little bit of a, a sugary tone to it. But it's chocolate. really refreshing. <laughs> really nice stuff. And then the coffee, the dark roast, some caramel oats. I'm actually going 90 on this one. I think it's a really nice, you know, imperial stout. Yeah, we Breakfast had a couple stout. of terrapin uh, beers yeah. uh, uh, last year. Yeah. So and they all been pretty much solid. But look forward to the next review because Sam was awesome enough to bring the cinnamon roll bring version. Bring chair. Yeah, <laughs> the cinnamon roll version of this. So this is. Rating wise, for me, this is a, I guess, 93. Yeah. 93. Really so, yeah, guys, uh, thanks so much to Sam for sharing this one. Uh, definitely let us know what you think of the Terrapin Beer Company Wake and Bake Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout. <laughs> if you've had it, do you prefer it fresh or aged? And as always, guys, remember to come subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We're going to say cheers. Cheers. See you guys in another beer game.